Right now it's six, three people, including two Boston cops, injured in a crash involving police motorcycles right along the Boston Pride Parade route. Police tell us it was a domino effect crash where one bike hit another and then a pedestrian. Good evening, I'm Ken McLeod. And I'm Katie Brace. Luckily, all the injuries are not life-threatening. WBC's Tiffany Chan spoke to Boston's police commissioner, and she is live at the scene on Beacon Street with the very latest. Tiffany. Katie, Ken, those two motorcycles collided near the corner of Beacon and Joy Streets. You can see police officers putting down markers, pinpointing exactly where that accident happened. Witnesses tell us parade goers and first responders did rush to help the second those officers and an older woman hit the ground. The Boston Pride Parade came to a screeching halt Saturday. Cell phone video from a witness shows the moments after two police motorcycles locked wheels, turning onto Joy Street, colliding with a spectator. I was expecting, but, but they were getting way too close, and they were coming in too fast. They were coming in too fast, and I seen the collision. And when everything happened, everything stopped. Everything stop, pause. Police Commissioner William Evans says the officers were responding to a medical emergency nearby when their bikes crashed. Parade goers and first responders could be seen tending to the two officers and a woman who was hit before ambulances arrived. The bike slid and it hit an older woman um, in, in the lower part of her body. Uh, from all indications, the two officers we just heard from Mass General, I think one might have a shoulder and one has a, an arm injury. The parade carried on with spectators lining Beacon Street. One witness says he's just glad the officers and the woman appear to be okay. A lot of people could have got her up because that one motorcycle cut directly across. And the Boston Pride Parade was in full swing at the time of the accident, so first responders and officers were already nearby and jumped into action. The two officers and the woman who was hit all expected to be okay tonight. Live in Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.